Hi, welcome to Primetime Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about targeting your opponent's feet. So let's jump right in. All right, so getting started here, we're gonna talk about the target that you should have if you are the player at the non-volley zone, uh, trying to keep your opponent back. You might have heard uh, you should always keep the ball deep, um, and keep your opponent back, and that's true, but we're gonna specifically talk about what you should be targeting if you are trying to keep your opponent back. Now, uh, keeping it deep is key, and that's important to know, but what exactly does that mean? If, if I'm at the baseline, my opponent is going to obviously want to hit as deep as they can to keep me from um, capturing the net and, and getting to the non-volley zone, right? But let's say if I hit my third shot or whatever shot I'm hitting here, and then I'm trying to make my way through this transition zone, making my way through no man's land, and if, let's say if I'm right here for my next shot, she doesn't wanna keep it deep and, and hit over here because then I'm going to be contacting the ball high and, and then I'm going to have the opportunity to hit an offensive shot hitting down. So wherever I am on the court, the most important thing is, is that if you're up at the non-volley zone line, you want to aim at my feet. So whether I'm standing here on the court or if I'm standing here, aiming at the feet is, it does two different things things and it's very important okay number one is no matter where I am on the court let's say I'm right here let's give this scenario if she aims at my feet I'm always going to have to make that decision if I'm going to volley the ball or if I have to let the ball bounce or even maybe even back up and let the ball bounce okay so that's the number one thing I'm going to have to make a decision volley or not to volley and the second thing is since I'm contacting the ball, no, either if I volley or let it bounce, right, my contact point is going to be a lot lower than the net. So this means I'm most likely going to have to play a neutral shot and I can't be offensive with the ball, okay? It's gonna be a defensive shot or a neutral shot that I should hit into the non-volley zone because if I get it any higher, then now you could punish me with pace and try to hit at my feet again, okay? So let's just go over this scenario. I'm gonna show you this very first one like what I was talking about. If I hit one shot here and I come up and she, and she uh, um, continues to try to hit it deep into the court, even though I'm up here, I could hit an offensive ball. So go ahead and feed me the ball. All right, so like you just saw in that example, I, I hit my first shot and I was, I was a, as I was coming up here, I could really be offensive because I'm hitting that ball down. So in this next example, uh, Katrina is going to make sure that as I come up to the net, she's gonna kind of use her peripheral vision to, to see where I am on the court. She's gonna make sure she doesn't leave a ball high up like that okay because it would be that ball would be good if i was back here but i hit that ball and I, now i'm split stepping here now that ball isn't a good ball anymore because i've made some progress up to the non-volley zone so now she's really going to be aware of where i am and wherever i'm standing is where her target's going to be at my feet okay so here we go Okay, good. So like that one there, that was a really good ball to my backhand and it was low. I couldn't do with anything with that. I'm just trying to reset it at that point. So let, let's see that one more time, okay? All 
All right, so those were two or three really good shots to the feet. Uh, it really neutralizes my game if I'm really trying to be offensive, okay? So that's the main thing I want you guys to know in this video. Wherever your opponent is on the court, if you aim at the feet, you're gonna have better chances of scoring the point and it's gonna be a lot harder for your opponents to be offensive on that ball. Okay, so no matter where they are, just aim at their feet, keep the ball down, making and forcing your opponents to hit up on that next ball. Okay, so thanks for joining us in this video and we'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thanks so much for watching. For more free video lessons, please visit primetimepickleball.com. But before you head on over there, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Also, for primetime pickleball shirts like this and other great apparel, please visit ptpgear.com.